Hey world, I'm back again. The truth. My topic of the day is um it was very different what I saw on for DMX funeral. It's, it was kind of demonic. I'm gonna get straight to it. Yo, since I know I've been a bit a big, 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 big fan of DMX. Since he can't, he been out since 1996 with his first album. I gotta buy that album because I didn't know he had an album before Dark and Hell is Hot. I'm gonna have to buy that album to, to, to do more research. So, I'm like, I've been a fan since 1998. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he came out with, Belly, Romeo Must Die, um, what was the other shit? Cradle to the Grave, Exit Wounds, all these other independent shit, Never Die Alone. I supported that to the fullest. No bootleg shit, real shit. But since I've been a big fan of DMX, he all worry. He always talk about the Lord. Always talk about the Lord. And I happened to see his funeral. It was touching and all that. But to me, my opinion. My, my opinion, nobody else. That shit was fake. That shit was fake. Much as everybody want to see DMX, they got it, the casket closed. And, um... I don't believe he was in it. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like, it's something like Tupac shit. To me. Because first of all, when Tupac supposedly dead, died, got shot up in Las Vegas, and um, and they were saying people, there were family and friends by his side, it wasn't no pictures showing that he was in the hospital, shot up and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then they said when he died, they didn't even have no fucking funeral. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even have no funeral. They were saying that he got cremated. And then I'm hearing some shit from Suge, at least like 15 years later on TMZ, saying Tupac is not dead. And I was the only person that was with him at the time. And if he telling you he ain't dead, that nigga ain't dead. So, so, so what I'm trying to say like on the DMX shit, just like Michael Jackson, niggas is big fans of Michael Jackson. For you to have a closed casket, knowing that people would love to see the body, to make sure his ass was in there, the only shit was closed. Know what I'm saying? And um, that shit, it was a good, it was a good funeral service. Know what I'm saying? I was still touched. Still, still feeling some kind of way. But to me, you can't just fool me and expect me to believe you. You know what I'm saying? I only believe in this person. Only God could judge me. To me, 
I'm not saying he ain't dead. But I don't believe his body was in that fucking casket. And that shit was so demonic. That shit was so demonic. For what I'm seeing, yo. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Because nobody wasn't saying shit. It's what I was seeing. They, they, they ain't really represent DMX like they supposed to, man. That big truck that they had DMX in, that was the only thing good about that service. They putting them on some shit that DMX will ride on. That's something that I can relate to. Know what I'm saying? But all that other shit, the service, it was good and all. They paid their respects and all that. It was touching, but to me that shit was fake. To me that shit was fake. Not fake like fake people, but 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 it seemed like it was just fake because they wasn't really talking about being there for the family. They was worrying about like DNY, definitely D, one of them niggas, the light skin nigga. He was basically talking about promoting the album. It seemed like that was the most important thing that they was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So they wasn't really worrying about anybody feeling like, damn, I just lost my father. This motherfucker talking about an album. And my father's in the motherfucking casket, supposedly. And you talking about some motherfucking album? So that means you ready to get fucking mad money off my father. If I was one of his kids, I would have been saying that shit in my head. But that shit was mad demonic to me. I love you, DMX. You will never be forgotten, but they could have represented you in a better way. Lord, have mercy on your soul, and Lord, be there for you just like he been there for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good day. God bless. Peace.